A day of emotional testimony in the sentencing hearing for Russell Tillis. Tillis was convicted last week for murdering Joni Gunter. And now the question is whether Tillis will get life in prison or the death penalty. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live from the Duval County Courthouse. Scott? Kent, the strategy of prosecutors here at the courthouse has been to paint Russell Tillis as not just a man who convicted in one murder, but a man who has been a serial abuser of women for decades. Laying out their case, prosecutors wanted the jury to know Russell Tillis has a pattern that has continued over decades. What happened to Joni Gunter was not an isolated incident. What happened to Johnny Gunter wasn't this defendant's worst day. It was his every day. Prosecutors brought two of Tillis's former victims to the stand. First, a woman who was 14 years old in 2006 and lost on the side of the road. Tillis picks her up. Then as soon as she is in the truck, he strikes her, eventually sexually assaulting her. Right then I knew it was trouble. Something bad was going to happen to me. And sure enough, right as I go to look over at him, all I feel is a big slap in my face. The other victim, a woman who was driving on I-75 back in 1989, she was broken down. And Tillis pulls over, picks her up, and attempts to kidnap and rape her. I slept with a bat beside my bed for a year. I was so afraid that he would know where I lived and come after me. The defense working to prevent a death sentence has been showing Tillis is a victim of violence starting as a young child. The violence was and the and the trauma was both physical uh, and emotional and persisted for a number of years. Uh, the Mr. Tillis and his brother uh, were both aware of the, the violence. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll mo have much more on what the defense says was trauma that Russell Tillis endured for years that led to his behavior later on in life. Court just wrapped up for the day. They are expected to be back here tomorrow morning, and we will stream it all live on newsforjax.com. Live downtown to the courthouse, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.